Hey guys, this is David Kirk from TechRecipes.com. Today, I'm bringing you a short tutorial screencast on how to use the proxy icon in OSX documents. Bring up text edit here to show you what I'm talking about. So I'll create a file here, and notice here near the title there's no icon right now. So once I go up here and save, the icon appears. Now you can manipulate this icon like you would manipulate an icon on your desktop. Uh, for example, if you just click and drag, you're going to create an alias. If you um, Alt Option click and drag to the desktop you're going to copy. You can also Command Key click and it'll give you um, the path of the current file. And If you'd like to explore your path from here you can click on any part of it and it'll open exp um, your finder window to that area. It's also nice um, that you can drag and drop into other files. For example, I'll open up terminal here. Say I needed to open up a terminal uh, near this document. So I'll do change directory. And I want to my terminal to open up here. And I'm in the desktop directory. Uh, certainly this is much more important when you're programming or doing other things that you need better access to the terminal. Um, but you can see that you can really manipulate files and do a lot of neat things once you have access to this proxy icon. Now some people get confused when it works and when it doesn't work um, and they try it a couple times it doesn't seem to work and they give up on it. If it's not working for you it's usually that the file that's currently in use is not saved. So for example here let me make some changes. Alright, and now I try to manipulate the icon and it won't let me. Um, I can pull up the path, but I can't do anything like click and drag or copy. I'm trying, I'm trying. And that's because this current file is not the same as the one that's currently saved. Uh, so once you save it, I'll go back to the file save again. I click and I can drag and I can do all over again. Now the other interesting wrinkle about all this is all files, um, all programs don't use this the same way. Some don't use the proxy icon at all. Um, some, if you, some of these alternative click and drag methods uh, may do different things. For example, in Word, um, if you either alt click or control click, it actually minimizes. Um, but most of the OS X files um, and programs such as preview and pages and numbers, all of those are pretty consistent with it. Um, I hope you find this feature uh, helpful to you, um, and I'll see you on Tech Recipes.